We're underway then. Telford kicking from our left to right and they have kick off. It's with the left back. Sean Newton, early ball down the line. Newton down the line again. Headed on by Brown. Early opportunity for Mills. Shoots and it's into the side netting. Telford to get a second chance though. Pradlock holds it up. Down the line. Here comes Mills again. Gets past the defender. Towards Brown. Brown shoots. Great reaction save. And Adams can't get it in. Final ball which has been... Not very good. They've had a good five minutes though. It's it's smart. Good working. ball from the left wing. Diagonal ball in. Defender. Now can he get the ball back towards Newton who's waiting for it. But he picks out Rogers. It may drop for Rogers to shoot. Takes a deflection. And it nearly loops over the goalkeeper's head. But uh, in the end it dipped quite nicely for the keeper's horn. Let's uh, just stop because here's Makariff again. Down the right wing. Holds it up. Waits, he's just trying to jostle for position here, just get the cross in towards the near post, headed away by Salmon, and I think it was Killick at the near post, and he couldn't head it away properly, it skidded off his head, and there was Salmon behind him. Balls who've been in good form, they've got to play, Geisley twice, Mills has skipped past two men, he takes it to the near post, looks to draw it back, appeals of handball from Mills, and none of the other Telford men go up for it, it's gone behind. Trainer there, just stepping into that space, Macriff keeps it in, and now can he get it past Newton? He gets himself into a chance to cross the ball into the near post, and Ryan catches it. But it's given away by Lynch. Oh, it's a nasty challenge by Lynch on Trainer. He knew the trainer had gone past him, and uh, Lynch got his foot in. Free kicks taken early. Brown at the near post. Can he draw it back? No, he can't. It's saved. Then cleared away. Oh, I'd have thought that Lynch would have been shown a yellow card, but uh, here's Trainer. Shoots and distance. Great shot. It's just over. Brilliant effort from Phil Trainer. You would think you've got to have the height of Rory Dilapton to do these throws, but it's a good ball in. Headed behind by Priest, and it's going to be a corner for Hyde. Burke intercepts it well in midfield and back down the left wing. Here comes Dale Johnson. He's got Macriff in the centre. Uh, Macriff making the run to the near post, but a great challenge from Mark Priest. And another corner for Hyde, and it's a good spell of pressure for the home team. Can Pradlock pick out Brown? Pradlock looks to shoot and it's saved by Saunders on the edge of the area. Pradlock picks it up again. Brown on the back post. In comes across towards the near post. The keeper fumbles it and cleared away and a throw in for Telford. Now Mills left footed gets the ball in. Takes a deflection. Still inside there. Trainer shoots. Scores. And Trainer from close range has scored for Telford. I just simply couldn't clear the danger. Trainer didn't give up. And now he's the joint top scorer for the Bucks alongside Adam Proudlock. And Telford have taken the lead. Hyde nil, Telford won. Yeah, good opportunism from Phil Trainer there. Close range, he couldn't take, put it away first time, but he spotted the ball again, turned and at the second attempt lashed it in from virtually point blank range. Telford have been under the cosh a bit of the... Brought down by Trainer, but Mark Lees whips it back in, headed away by Shane Killock across the face of a goal. Telford have only lost two league, uh, league games this season, one against Solihull Moors, 4-2 at home. Uh, last year and then uh, against Bly Spartan shot from distance oh what a goal Greg Mills it's flown into a top right hand corner 35 yards out and that is a screamer and worthy of any goal of a season competition Greg Mills decided to have a crack he took everybody by surprise and he has scored a beauty it's flown into a top right hand corner and those type of goals, well, they can well and truly help you to seal all three points and get a win. And now Telford have doubled their lead. It's Hyde nil, Telford two. Talk us through that goal then, Chris. It's just a goal out of nothing. The ball's arrived at Greg Mills, as you say, some distance. Front smart. And the Bucks keep possession in midfield. Switch from right to left. Adams has a pace to keep it in play. Telford number 11. Now looks to run again, stop the right back, cuts across the edge of the area, shoots! Oh, it's goal! It's up Andy Brown's shoulder! I think Brown will claim it! Adams is saying that he scored it! But anyway, it's 3 0 to Telford. I think it was goal bound from Adams, but then suddenly Brown cut across it. He said it struck him on the shoulder, and Brown and Adams are claiming it, so we'll find out after the game. But it's Hyde nil, Telford three, and it was a great strike from Adams, wasn't it, Chris? Hit it very well, took a very big deflection. So I feel sorry for John Adams, but there's a good chance that one will go down to Andy Brown. And I suppose he's a striker, it'll do his confidence a world of good. That's five goals in six games for him if it does go to him. Well, 
it doesn't matter really at the end of the day because it uh, all comes down to who's going to win the game and Telford well on the way to doing that now. Adam Pradlock's going to be substituted. Alex Mead. And it's going to be Burke to take this one right footed and swing it in. And now he lofts it into the back post. Headed comes in and it was uh, Halford that got his head onto it. Can't get it goalwards. To the pommy edge of the penalty area. Kicks it down the line, good flick by Brown, here's Meachin, Meachin one on one with the keeper, Meachin looks to put it past Saunders, good save from Saunders, his uh, hand outstretched and uh, Meachin still can't score but the full time whistle goals, Telford have won by three goals to nil here against Hyde. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.